Welcome to the video set documenting a database with ER Studio. So the mission for this video set is to understand the contents of a data asset, so usually a database. And there's three approaches we're going to take. The first one is as a, a localized standalone project. The second is, is part of a, a broader data modeling initiative. And then the third is as part of a, a data governance initiative. So let's have a look and see what we mean by that. We need to create a model of two parts the accepted and approved information of the organization in terms that everyone can understand, and then the list of the data assets, uh, along with the technical metadata that we harvest from the, the asset itself. So hopefully you're comfortable with the idea of logical and physical data models. So in this uh, diagram here, one side represents the structure of the database on the right-hand side, and uses technical naming and database product specific metadata. On the left hand side, we've got a logical model, which is in business friendly language and contains business metadata. So the first approach, we're going to, to create a simple localized project. And the steps are as follows. So first of all, we'll reverse engineer the database and we'll create a physical data model. The second step is the tool will generate for us a first cut logical data model. And then the third step is we then elaborate that logical data model with business language and, and metadata. And that's the, the documentation process complete for this approach. And as we deliver more and more projects, each of those projects are really standalone and, and isolated. So that's the first approach. The second approach, we're going to do the same sort of thing, but part of a broader data modeling initiative. So we will have a single logical data model there on the left. So this is a, an enterprise or corporate logical data model or a canonical model. So again, the process is we'll reverse engineer each database, creating a physical model. And we may or may not have a local logical model for that project. But the important step is that we're going to map uh, the right hand side there, each of the physical models by table, by column, over to the uh, common logical model on the left hand side. And then we can do analysis on that model. So from logical entities and attributes on the left, we can then see which physical um, data assets contains that information. The third approach uses a business glossary. So this is core to most data governance initiatives. Uh, and it's an important part of uh, ER Studio Team Server. So in this approach, we're going to, again, reverse engineer each of the physical models and then map each one to business terms. And then again, we can do analysis from the, the business glossary. We can go through term by term and see where is this information in the physical landscape. So, stay tuned and uh, watch the three videos in this set. For more information though, please go to idea.com forward slash contact sales.